My name is Gabriel Arango, and I am a singer-songwriter. Gabriel. One day I saw her at Cabanas. She looks so good, I had a holler. I grew up in Jersey City, New Jersey, kind of like North Jersey, really close to New York. Um, it was a it was a real urban community, real cool. You know, I kind of grew up listening to like R and B, but also I would go to the bodega on the corner and they would be playing salsa. I would go to the barber shop and they'll be playing bachata. You know, it was it was really culturally diverse. Well, at first I was doing like YouTube videos. I was doing some YouTube videos and just different covers and trying to trying to get my my name out there. And there was uh, the vice president of ATIE, Levana Irby. She found me, you know, she reached out to me and contacted me to be in the showcase. Never have to deal with all the things that people say. Also, I was a musician first. So, you know, I understand music, you know, not to say that a lot of these artists aren't, but um, not, not too many are doing, you know, the musician thing, not trying to learn too many instruments. Um, that's something that I wanted to do to kind of stand out. We are here. At the uh, at the set of I I I, um, getting my makeup done. You guys could tell. Everybody's kind of just setting up. It's like five in the morning. I'm kind of happy how music is evolving right now. You know where um, once the reggaeton kind of surged, they they did kind of like that fusion where they would do reggaeton and bachata, you know, or reggaeton and salsa, you know. And for me, it was very exciting because it was like, oh, okay, this is cool. Like I love the reggaeton sound, but. I'm listening to like the stuff that my dad used to listen to in the car, which is like salsa and stuff like that. So it's just very cool how everything is kind of merging and kind of becoming more of a pop thing, you know, than anything. Then kind of bring the generation that listen to R&B and listen to artists like Chris Brown, Drake, and uh, who else, like Bruno Mars, and kind of mix it up and throw some Spanish in there. Working with the album was really, really fun, really great. I had the privilege of working alongside uh, my A&R, Silas White. And, uh, you know, when we got into the studio, it was just, you know, kind of how are we gonna create this sound? How are we gonna fuse, you know, these different types of elements and create one body of work? I'm trying to take you home tonight. It, I'm not gonna say it's like all fresh and new where, you know, I, I was, you know, people will tell you, you know, like the industry is gonna be like this. You have to kind of, um, you know, be real stern in what you wanna do and stuff like that. Um, but the industry is, you know, it's just something that you kind of have, it's a whole different world. You know, it's a, it's a business, it's, you know, it's a business as well. So that's that's something that, you know, I'm still learning to carry myself as, as a business aside from just a musician who plays the piano. You know, and, and I, as difficult as it can be sometimes, not everybody's gonna, you know, support you. Not everybody's gonna be like, all right, go ahead. But I would tell them to follow their hearts and also um, learn the tools of the trade as well, you know, because a lot of times people just wanna, they wanna live their dream, you know, but don't understand the, you know, they have to pay their dues. They have to go to school, learn, you know, learn what it is that you wanna do. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs>